repent and turn to the only one who can save you. He will not bless you. He, in fact, will say that he does not know you. For you are without excuse. You cannot say, oh, I did not know. And you can't come here for other things while they kill children in other rooms. God will not bless that. <clears throat> we are calling on you today to repent and turn from what you are doing. Because what you are doing here is evil. How many babies did you guys have to sacrifice to have one? Like, life begins at conception, right? Life begins at conception, so you either freeze, murder, or allow scientists to experiment on your leftover kids, leftover eggs, right? Leftover embryos. So think about it. It is murder. There is repentance in Christ. But Christians should not be doing IVF because they go to a man that murders hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of embryos. If God creates life, okay, if God creates life, it's man does not have dominion over which le eggs, which embryos live and which ones die. What's that? No, we should because we're trying to warn you, you know, and there is repentance. All right. Well, we're trying to save people like you and babies that are being murdered constantly. Like IVF is wrong. It's wicked. It's murder. Just remember, ask your spirit, ask the spirit of God if it's okay to choose which babies live and which babies die. Mommy shouldn't have to decide which of their children they'll sacrifice to make a child. That's what's going on. You actually sacrifice those kids so you can have this one. Yeah, but they're, all right, let's say that's true. I, I could I could say that's totally true, but they go to a guy that murders babies all day long. They, he, the, the doctor in there actually destroys and sends out for experiment and freezes other, other babies. So we don't go to an evil, wicked man for help. Well, I'm sorry, the, the noise is too loud back here. I can't hear you, so. Well, it is Christian because we're warning people not to murder their kids and to stay away from a guy that murders kids. Life begins at conception. God knits the children together. Ma'am, you know IVF is the same thing as child sacrifice. You have to choose which children live and which children die. That's called child sacrifice. To have one child and say, these child children will be thrown in the trash, or these children can be experimented on, is wicked and evil. God says, do not murder. God has dominion over who lives and who dies, not you. Do you know that when you partake in IVF, you're actually partaking in child sacrifice? Because the children that you don't implant that aren't born, are actually thrown in the garbage disposal, frozen, or given to scientists to experiment on. Life begins at conception. Man does not have dominion over man and cannot choose who and who can be killed. You do not do this for me. Those are the words of Christ. Who is my neighbor? Your neighbor is the babies that are dying right here and right now in this place at the hands of these doctors, these nurses, and these clinic workers. That is your neighbor. It is your smallest neighbor, but we are not sizists, nor are we agents. Hi, ma'am. Do you know that there's actual child sacrifice when it comes to IVF? Because you choose which kids to implant 
the rest get disposed of, murdered, frozen, or experimented on. Those kids are sacrificed. Well, I know you didn't ask, but are you a Christian? You a Christian? It is murder, ma'am. For one kid, you'll kill 15 or 20. For one child, life begins at conception. It is murder.